Oh shit, um, yeah, hi, hello, and um, good afternoon to another edition of the good, the bad, the ugly, the juice review show brought to you by the Department in Hell Vapors. Oh, I'm really sorry there, I generally didn't realise I'd actually press the fucking record button. Yeah, um, as you can see, I was, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just making some cleaning rags up here because I've got a load of t-shirts and um, I don't really want them anymore, so um, just use them for cleaning rags and stuff, so there we go. Anywho... On to the review. Hello, good afternoon, as I've already said. Um, in today's edition, I want to take a quick look at Dante's Cherry Lemonade. Now, I have got to state for the record, um, any views or opinions you hear at Jen's review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I pay for the product at a reduced rate at the London Vape Show, but the least said about the London Vape Show, the better. I think I've already said enough on the subject matter. Um, also, I'd like to state I was going to do a review of the Bear Juicers, but due to its connections to Vape Finder, I will not be doing that review now. Um, it's a week on. I'm still not fucking happy to be <laughs> completely honest there. So I will not be doing the bear review now. Anyway, on to this one again. I've um, also got to say for the record, any individual tastes, setups and power levels will alter what you can get from a juice. I will only tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today is something a little bit different. haven't used this one for a while. It would be the Vape... Vaporesso's target mod, and that's got the AIM-09 Evo Dripper dual cord to 0.3. Now, as always, bottle safeties and all that other givens, then we'll crack on with the actual flavours. I, like I do like the label. I do like the label. It tells you exactly what it is without being childish, immature, stepping on other companies' toes by nicking their products. And especially with the last week or so that we've been having through the forums on the whole IVG bullshit, it's nice to see. Um, I do. There's a couple of things that I do like what they've done on this. I mean, you've got your warnings and then your genetic war warnings. That's fair enough. You've got your uh, toxic diamond. You've got your 18 plus adults only product. You've got the fact that it tells you that the liquid in this. I mean, this is a 50 mil short fill with space, 10 mil space for you to put a nick shot in or a Nick Salt shot in, or a Fizzy shot, or whatever you want, or VG. So it has got the 10mm space there to make this a 60mm bottle. But what I like about it on here is, I don't know if you can see. Right. There's three little bits there. And it basically tells you what you should use this product in. And it says, don't use this in a pen, but use it in a sub own tank, or a dripper. And it actually states it on the thing. And I think that's it's a little touch. Doesn't need to be there, but I do like it. It's a nice little touch. Um, around the top bit, we've got the batch number, and we've also got the best before. Now, they've given this four years, which I think is a bit adventurous, to be fair. I mean, to, most of these will give you two years on a best before. I think four years may be a little bit adventurous, because you've got to remember, there's always 10 mil of air in these bottles, which gets to the liquid, so... I'd just say two, to be quite honest, but there we go. <laughs> right. And as always, as industry standards, and as it bloody should be, whether you have got a pre-nick liquid or you have to add nick to it, a child-proof lid and tampering, which, as I've always stated, if that is broken, damaged, missing, demand another product. It's there for your peace of mind. i also got to say the filling mechanism on this was a piece of piddle. It really was. Um... The nozzle there, this, this little nozzle comes out and there is a little o-ring on the bottom of it as well. So you pop that out, squirt your liquid in, put this back in. Now, however much I do kind of like these, it doesn't, it's a pain in the arse when you've got a 10 mil, 100% VG nick shot. Oh, you just, oh. And you get RSI in the hand just trying to get 10 mil in these bloody bottles. It, it's, it's a good idea. I mean, if you're using 50-50 Nick, that's superb. 100% VG is an absolute ball like trying to get into those little holes. Just a little mm, of my own there. But what does it taste like? Well, here we go. Let's have a little bash. As I say, this was bought from the London Vape Show from the EQ Vape stand. Um, they were doing two 50ml Nick uh, short fills. 
for a tenner. So that's cost me a fiver. So let's see what it's like. Here we go. Right, I'm going to start off at 44.6. Or oh, 3.7 volts. Here we go. Wow. No throat here. I mean, this is a three milligram after I put my 10 mil nick shot in. Clouds to what you expect, and they're saying around about 70. It is round about 70 30 after you put in 100% nick shot in there, 100% VG nick shot in there. Probably about 72, 73, 67 ish. The flavour wise. Straight off the bat, you've got a lovely cherry aid. And it's got a little back note of fizzy lemonade going through it as well. The lemonade mainly comes through on the exhale. But the lemonade sits on the tongue, so you've still got that cherry gold around your mouth as well, while that lemon's creating like a base flavour all over the tongue. Now it is everywhere, every, wherever your tongue touches, you kind of get a bit of a fizzy lemon experience in the mouth. It's a very refreshing vape, I mean, it really does wake the tongue up, especially with that fizzy lemonade. But as I say, that elements of cherry running around there as well. Really, really nice. I like that. I'm going to go up to 52.2. And that's around about 4 volts. Wow. Mmm. That lemon gets stronger since the cherry. You get more of a mixture of the lemonade and the cherry on the inhale. Instantly gets the saliva glands going. As soon as that lemon touches the tongue, you do get a bit of a gargle on. It does last. It really does last. That lemonade is absolutely superb. And I say with just some little dashes of cherry going for it as well. Rather nice. I'm liking it. I mean, I'm doing this review on a Sunday. It's something I could quite happily just sit in the garden all afternoon in the sun on a sun lounger, and I'd be more than I'll be more than happier than a pig and shit because oh, that lemonade really does ping off the tongue, off your taste buds. Well, I'll go up to seventy-five point five. Or four point two volts, basically a full battery on a mech. Going higher up, you can't. You lose the cherry. You lose the cherry completely higher up. I mean, if you just want a, a decent lemonade, go high. If you want an absolutely gorgeous combination, go for that middle ground. That middle ground and that lemon and cherry are playing quite happily. And just Lemonade exhale is really, it's absolutely, it is gorgeous. Oh, I don't really want to use that word, but it's, it is, it's really gorgeous. It gets everything going in your mouth and you just go, oh, oh, dear, what, that was really nice. Low down, you do kind of get a bit more cherry at the inhale, but then that lemonade steams through on the exhale. So right about mid-ground on this one, I'm finding better. Just a personal opinion, of course. No, I really can't fault that at all. If you're a fan of cherry lemonade or lemonade with just a, something a little bit different in it, give that a go. That is Dainty's Cherry Lemonade. Well, that brings me to the end to another review. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back soon with some more reviews. Take care, everybody.